Hello, I'm Cassie Haley with Christopher Molnar, VP of Chromalox. Thank you for joining me, Christopher. Thank you, Cassie, for having me. Yeah, so tell me a little about Chromalox, when you guys got started, and what you've done historically as a company. Sure, Chromalox is almost a 100-year-old company. We were founded in 1917. Uh, our founder was the inventor of the electric process heating industry, mm -hmm. essentially. And so we've been serving the power generation market as well as heavy industry for the last uh, 97 years. That's, that's a long time. Long time. Now you had a, a technology rollout a couple of years ago called Direct Connect. And, yes. and now you're seeing a lot of traction being built from this. Will you please just elaborate on Direct Connect for me? Sure. We actually launched it here two years ago at PowerGen. And Direct Connect is essentially a medium voltage process heating technology. Mm -hmm. So as, as heating demand in industry gets larger, for example, in the, in the fuel fired fire gas uh, plants. Yes, which are getting bigger. Larger, bigger larger, bigger all systems, yeah. So um, as the demand gets larger, producing a heat on a low voltage is a problem. It's, it's higher cost to install, to produce, large infrastructure to support. And so the industry was demanding us to come out with some solution to that problem. Of course. And so what we came up with was a mini voltage technology, enables us to operate those same exact heaters instead of a low voltage, off of mini volts. Now what that means for the, the, uh, the producer or the user is um, they're able to run these large systems with lower amperage costs, smaller wiring, much, much lower installation costs from the contractor or the, the installation side, and then operating over, over the life of the, the product 20, 30 years, multi-million dollar savings for the same essential equipment at mini voltage. And does it do anything to help lower that carbon footprint? It does. We, we like to think that if our, our electric process heating equipment is, is green already. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have any emissions or open flames. There's a lot of safety reduction for our equipment because it's basically converting electricity right into heat. Okay. So in power generation and other industry, it's, it's a very clean and uh, efficient, almost 100% efficient technology to do that with. Mm -hmm. So then when you apply our medium voltage direct connect technology on top of that, you now have new applications you can do in power industry uh, for some of the um, newer technologies such as solar concentration plants, potentially thermal storage, mm -hmm. centralized heating uh, for industry and for uh, communities, uh, all for the reduction of, of emissions mm -hmm. from natural gas fired equipment. Wonderful. So it is, it's applicable to the natural gas fire plants as well as renewables. Absolutely. So how do you see the landscape of, of the power industry and the new market trends? How do you see Direct Connect and Chromalox moving along with the industry in the years to come. Yeah, well, I think I think you'd agree that things are changing very rapidly now, mm -hmm. and uh, unlike we've ever seen before in the industry. And so I think industry, end users, uh, consumers are trying to figure out how to bring in that you know emissions control, more green energy, but at the same time meet the demand. Mm -hmm. There's the decentralization of of, of the of the power and this distribution. How do you control that upstream, downstream, behind the meter? Those are all very difficult questions. I know there's several companies like Duke and Floor Power and Light that are, that are kind of at the forefront of some of those ideas, bring the industry together. Um, and so we're real excited about that because in those changes, there's a lot of opportunity for us to help with right. Direct Connect. So what we're looking for is not only in the fuel got fire systems or, or soil concentration plants, and just using our heaters to generate power, mm -hmm. but when it's behind the meter in industrial settings, can that be controlled and managed in a certain way such that when you have a demand response situation or a frequency control situation or any other type of emergency need where you might need to pull power back down as being an electric heater we're consuming electricity right you could control that system intelligently now we're probably several years out from that type of of networking mm -hmm. but i think we're real excited about the possibilities there and how that can manage and help power gen in the future yes it sounds so. like chromalox is 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 positioned very well to go right alongside with the industry. We, we hope so. Forward. We hope so. We're just trying to help. Yes. Well, Christopher, thank you for joining thank you for me today. Me, Thanks for joining us on Power Today.